I have been doing this for over 20 years. It's a passion, it's a talent, and it's a blessing. Are you at the point where you can't look at wood without seeing pool cues? Basically, yeah, if I see a pretty piece of wood, I say, man, that sure would look good in a queue. So uh, every time I get new wood in, it's just like, you know, a kid waiting on their toy at Christmas. Uh, matter of fact, I'm waiting on some birds out maple to come in from a new supplier, and uh, I can't wait to get it because I, I know it's going to be awesome. You learn from other masters how to do certain things. Right, I've got help along the way from uh, the granddaddy of queue makers like Bill Schick and uh, Danny James of Josh East and Dale Perry, uh, Wayne Gunn, Tim Scrubs, I visited his shop before. So all these guys are part of the American Cue Makers Association and anytime we need help or got a problem, you know, we can call on each other and, and uh, share information with each other. You're the guy that builds them from start to finish. They don't go through anybody else's hands. Right. That's what makes them so special exactly. and customized. Right? Yeah. I take square blocks of wood that's been seasoned and uh, keel dried and when I get it in I turn it around and I splice it all together and I do the inlay work. I actually have a guy that uh, designs our cues, his name's Tim Lilly. So he's part of the Josie family, you know, he really, uh, he's really a genius at that. My main goal when I started building cues was first the cue had to play good and then the artistic work, work would come later. So my cues are known for a solid hit with uh, less deflection. What makes Josie Q so special? Well, it's got to be the, the way they're put together. So when you hit, it's just the feel of the way it hits. They almost uh, almost play themselves. Uh, you got a real good custom cue maker here in, uh, in uh, Savannah named Keith Josie, and he really makes some great products. And uh, most of the time, he uses this pen here. It's uh, it's uh, uh, for the custom cues and the more expensive cues. It's called the radial pen, and uh, and. Uh, it's a wood to wood where that pin goes right into wood. So what they're trying to reproduce is the feeling of a one piece cube. Now, what you do takes an intense amount of focus. Talk a little bit about some of the things you do outside of your shop here that help you in finding the ability to turn out masterful right. pieces that you do. Well, I've been in, involved in martial arts for years, and that's kind of one of my dreams was to achieve my black belt. You know, martial arts has helped me all the years. I took Aikido and Jiu Jitsu, and that's where it all actually started is, is the focus, the mental focus on everything that I do. Stradivarius had a certain signature core that you could feel in right. his instruments and hear in his instruments. Right. Do people get that from your cues? In every cue that I do, whether it's a low end or a high end, um, I totally stay focused on what I'm doing for that customer. You know, I, I'm the only one that you know touches the cues, and it's been that way ever since I started. I'm, I'm interested in quality, not quantity. You know, um, it's it's just gratifying to know, you know to get the feedback from the customer when they actually you know get their cue from me. Who? Hey.